morning, good morning. Today we are here with author DC Spar. Oh, we are so excited to have her here today. How are you today, DC Spar? Good, good. Thank you so much for having me on your show. I'm so excited to talk with you today. Oh, we are excited to get to talking with you today too. Now you are the author of the Logan and Emily Files chapter books, correct? Yes, that is. And your newest book is called The Logan and Emily Files, PJ's Perplexing Predicament, right? Yes, those are big words, huh? Oh, yes, those are very big words. <laughs> I wanted to ask you, what inspires you to write your books? Well, especially that one, PJ's Perplexing Predicament is about my dad and he has a disease called Alzheimer's, which is about your brain. And so I wanted to help kids learn more about Alzheimer's and the brain and memories in a fun story that of course comes with a detective story. So I wanted Logan and Emily, my main characters, to find PJ who went missing. <gasps> And they do find him, spoiler alert. Oh, that is good to know, thank you. <laughs> and so I wanted kids to be able to just keep that contact with their older ones, their grandparents, or any loved one that maybe has some memory issues. So that's why, that's what inspired me to write PJ's Perplexing Predicament. Oh, this is a great story. It sounds like it's an adventure detective story. It is also going to help kids and families learn about memory loss and Alzheimer's. Is that right? Exactly. Oh, oh, this is great. I often wonder what inspires authors to write their book. And you shared a great story. Thank you. Thank you for asking. Who illustrated your book? I had a person from Sri Lanka, Aishan and he is a fabulous illustrator. He accepted my drawings and I said, okay, now make them in your style. And so then he sent them back in his awesome style and I just loved them to pieces. And so we definitely put them all in the book. Oh, it must be fun working with an illustrator. It is, and he is far away from me over an ocean. So we had to talk through the computer and emails, and hopefully one day I get to meet him in person. Oh, wow, this helps me out a lot in figuring out how authors get their books illustrated. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Now, can you tell me what would kiddos out there like most about your books? Well. Logan is your regular kind of guy, and so sometimes he loses his temper, sometimes he makes mistakes, and a lot of times he's pretty silly. So I think kids will like just Logan being Logan. And his partner, Emily, well, she's a sassy pants. Oh. We all know sassy pants, oh, huh? Oh, oh, yes! And so it is fun to read because those two act kind of like brother and sister. And so you get a lot of laughing while you're reading too. Oh, that is great. So when they read your story, it will feel like they are reading a little bit about themselves, correct? Exactly. Oh, and I love your books. They really get my imagination going. Each page is so filled with so much excitement and I love all of your little detective gadgets that you're talking about. Oh, it feels like I'm watching a movie, but I'm reading a book. Oh, I'm so glad that you think so, because those gadgets, I just decided to come up with some crazy ideas. And when I was little, I watched a show called Inspector Gadget. And so I decided to think of some crazy gadgets that I remember and put them all together. And so that's where some of those gadgets come from. Well, they are all really good ideas because I have never heard about them before. Oh, and I encourage our viewers out there to read your books and jump into your wonderful detective stories. Oh, they are so great. 
Thank you, DC Spar. Thank you. Now I hear you have some exciting news that is great for kids. Can you tell us about this? I am super excited about this. It is a launching of a course for brainy memories. So what is that? Well, I'll tell you. It's okay. helping kids learn more about memories, how they work in our brain, really how our brain works, and then how we can help people that maybe lose their memories and still have fun with our loved ones that experience this. So I created this course that comes with the book, PJ's Perplexing Predicament, and a workbook, and we go over together all about the brain, and then we have an activity that we do about short-term and long-term memory, and I'm just really excited for it to come out soon. Oh, this sounds like a lot of fun, and it includes activities. Oh yes, I think activities help kids understand and learning about memory, that's so important. Yeah, and, not, and it's okay for some things. We were made that way to forget some things and other things, then we have to wonder, okay, what's going on? So it kind of helps the kids to know that, okay, yeah, it's pretty normal to forget some things. And then when they see maybe their grandpa or grandma forgetting a little bit more than normal, it doesn't scare them so much. Oh, I can't wait for kids and families to get a hold of these activities and workbooks. Uh, now, did you say it's an activity workbook? It'll come with an, a workbook and the chapter book and a recording that they'll be able to buy. And then I'll be doing these events in person, these courses as well. Oh, great. Now, where can viewers find out more about you and your books? Well, I would like them to go to DC Spar, which is S P A A R at DC Spar Books.com. Because that's my website. And if they sign up for my newsletter, then they'll know firsthand what's going on with my courses, where I'm going to be. Um, in May, I get to go to New Hampshire and be at a uh, kids' com. It's called, it's all about comics and fun stuff. Oh, that is good to know. I'm excited because I'm going to also bring my course and kind of give some sneak peeks there. Oh, great. Okay, if you are over in that area, viewers, then definitely go to that event. Okay, before we go, what would you tell a little kiddo out there who wants to write their own book? Oh, I encourage kids for sure to write down any ideas they have. They may think of some silly stories or some serious stories or some totally made up stories, which is great. Anything can be a great story. So just write down your ideas when they come to you. Have a little notebook, you know, around, especially when you're laying down for bedtime or nap time. Sometimes that's when your best ideas come to you. Oh, those are really helpful tips. Thank you for sharing those ideas. You're welcome. Oh, I had such a wonderful time with you today, DC Spar. I am going to go back and get to reading your book. I am almost done and I can't wait to finish your story. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm so excited that you are reading it. Okay, we'll talk to you soon, DC Spur. It was so nice meeting you too, and thank you for having me on your show.